welcome Capricorn um, your videos started by itself so I guess we're ready okay Capricorn we are using the Druid wisdom to find out what it is that you need over the next two weeks sorry I was a little bit caught unawares when the video started but that's okay the Mystical Journey Oracle and the Light Seer's Tarot are the other two decks we will be using. So, let's get started here, Capricorn. Okay, three cards for Capricorn, please. Three cards for Capricorn. We've got Long Hidden Friend. We've got another card. I think it's the Midnight Sky. But I could be wrong on the title and another card that I cannot yet see the title. So let's start with Long Hidden Friend. Look at this. A guide for travellers lost and found. He leads you to safety without a word or a sound. Carry bloodstone in your pocket and trust nature to guide the way. Okay, so... I love this because the rock looks like it's just appeared there out of nowhere. Look, it looks so out of character for the rest of the um, landscape there. But the sheep looks like it's using um, this rock to hide behind in case of predators, right? So, yeah, interesting. This could be something Capricorn that you feel you are in need of or you are in need of protection. The Midnight Sky. Yes, new beginning, I feel. Whenever the darkness seems too hard to bear, call on St. Bridget to hold you in stillness and care. Carry Chrysocola for wisdom and deep compassion. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I said it. The spelling of this is C-H-R-Y-S-O-C-O-L-L-A. -L -L if you can't get a hold of any Chrysocola, um, just, I would personally find, um, you know, a picture of it and, um, print it out and carry it with you and just set the intent that, um, it's still going to serve the purpose and, um, you know, that you're carrying it for. Um, okay. The Quiet House. I feel like. A lot more goes on in this house than what anyone knows, even though it's quiet. But anyway, a leaf breaks from its branch above and falls down gently before your path. Sometimes it's not what we need for ourselves, but how we contend lovingly to another's home and hearth. Meditate on the Three of Cups tarot card and offer a hand to a friend in need. Ah, okay, so maybe there's a friend. Maybe you're the long-hidden friend. Maybe this is actually about helping someone else. Or is it about you receiving help from somebody else, Capricorn? Let us have a look. Okay, first card for Cap Capricorn, Capricorn. Don't like how that jumped out. Capricorn, Capricorn. Yeah, that's it, that's, that's it, that's it. Connection, connection. Okay, friendship, relationship, whatever. This is a connection of hearts. Okay, so... It doesn't matter how you far you are away from someone, if there's a connection of hearts, that exchange still happens, okay? So this could be about holding space for someone um, or you hold, having asking someone to hold space for you, okay? Tell me more about connection, please. Thanks. I feel like this, look, I'm going to speak to you as though this is your energy, okay? But if, if it's the other way around and this is someone else's energy, just apply it as it fits for you, okay? Um, we have three of swords here, Capricorn. 
this is utter heartbreak absolute utter heartbreak this is though i want to say repairing from the heartbreak the heartbreak has already happened okay we've got the five of pentacles as well so this is feeling shut out okay and very alone so there's this need to reach out because when you know sometimes we can get it such in that dark place and in such a rut um and we don't feel like anyone's going to understand and, and it may have been a while ago that this heartache happened you know and and it could be that there are people who are like seriously you're still on about that right but it, it doesn't matter how long ago you know grief is something that takes however long to actually go through in process right um and you know reaching out to someone else someone else may come along and see where the light is shining that the key is here and and it will fit the lock and you can open the door this may be just a new perspective that you need someone to come and give you, okay? And maybe connecting with someone else and letting them know, I just can't get out of this. I don't know why and I don't know how. It's like the quiet house, right? The house looks very peaceful and inside of it is this person who's stuck inside because of this heartbreak. So it's a matter of connecting, making that connection so you can get the help that you need in order to get out of that um you know that state that you're in okay it's about breaking that state we've got inner child at the bottom here so this could be about you needing to nurture that inner child and take care of that inner child um i just wanted to address that because that was the one that fell out before but i didn't like the way it came out and then it was on the bottom so we've got trust jump out here i don't know why i'm still shuffling but i am but i'm going to put that one back anyway trust um yeah i feel like you feel like people are two-faced some of you may feel like that um or, or you're not too sure who to trust or what to trust. Um, um, there's the sense of feeling really, really worn out and tired from traveling this journey. And um, I, just, I just feel like you need someone to lead the way right now. Or you need to lead the way for someone else. Tell me more about trust for Capricorn, for, please. Please, my words. <laughs> Five of Wands. Yeah, this is this battle. This is this battle that um, it's sort of like this is this is pettiness, really. Um, but I feel as though the battle has been fought, but now the battle is more internal okay um and it's yeah it's sort of still feeling burned over already being burned you know and there's this fear of stepping out and trusting anyone because you don't want to get burned again because you've already been burned and you just don't know who to trust okay um but what i feel like i love this um seven of pentacles here is this um It's like you've been working on something and things have been growing, but you can't, re it, it's sort of like Capricorn, you can't really see the growth. You don't understand, well, no, it's not that you can't, well, you may very well not see the growth, but you don't understand the value of the growth, okay? And I feel like you don't really understand, oh, I don't know if understand is the right word, but I'm going to use it anyway, just for argument's sake. It's like realizing that um, the growth is sort of, it's all about to take off. But you're kind of like going, is there any point in, in this anymore? Because I don't see the point in it. What's the point? It just feels like a bunch of hard work and I don't really see why I need to be doing this anymore. You know, um, 
what I want to say about this also is understanding that there's there needs to be some sort of shift in energy because this guy here, he's sending energy to the plant. Okay, now, the energy going into the plant, this is helping the growth beneath and this is adding value underneath the soil. It's enriching the soil. Okay, so it's sort of like preparing the soil for more. Okay, there's value that you cannot see yet. It hasn't appeared. But what's going to happen is this then is going to take off because this, this um, soil has been given all the nutrients and the um, enrichment that it needs in order for this tree to take off. It's just not visible. Okay, but I do wonder if you're just going, should I bother anymore? Should I keep going? You know, this is you questioning what what's what is the point? Okay, um, yeah, I do want to read this card again. Yeah, the midnight sky. Whenever the darkness seem the darkness seems too hard to bear, call on Saint Bridget to hold you in stillness and care. Okay, um, and there's there's someone who can help you. There is someone who can help you, not maybe someone quite unexpected. The last person who you thought to call on could help you. It could be someone who's been traveling or is away from you. Okay, so yeah. Um, you know, someone that you have to think about and think, oh, I wish they were here. Uh, I could really use their their you know energy or their healing right now. And um just if you can get in contact with them, do. Um, new beginnings, yep, for sure. Getting get it, it, this is you getting yourself out of this rut. There's this a rut is a bit of a it's not really the right word, but kind of like getting yourself because you're stuck. It feels like there's this energy of stuckness, and um, it, it's a matter of becoming unstuck. But maybe you're just not sure how to do it, and it's a little bit like. I'm just seeing someone being stuck in quicksand and they can't get themselves out unless someone comes and pulls them out. And that's what you need. You need someone to lend you a hand to come pull you out. That doesn't mean, mean that they do the work for you. Um, it's still up to you to clean yourself off and not go there again, you know, and be aware of where it is that you're treading in each step of the journey. But they just give you that lending hand to help you just for a bit, you know, um, so yeah, I, I, I also feel like there's this need Capricorn for you to not be so hard on yourself, because that could be why you're withholding from letting anyone know how you're truly, truly feeling, because you feel a bit stupid, um, but I think it's, um, it's necessary for you to open up enough to uh, allow yourself to receive the help that you need here, okay, seven of wands, yeah, look, some of you may feel like you're on the defense all the time and potentially like people are at you. Um, but I feel like you need to rise above that, okay, and um, understand that it's not the case at all. I actually do feel like people are trying to help you, but maybe you're taking it as a criticism. Um, and that could be in the way that they're putting it, but I think deep down inside they just want to see you better. So yeah, um, we also have the star here. Oh, I like this for you here, Capricorn. You know, this is you having hope, having faith, you know, um, finding your purpose, getting this, getting this new beginning up and going. Yeah, understanding that this is there in the waiting for you. You don't have to live in this energy anymore. Okay, um, so this is something that is... It's interesting because I'm just getting these two energies here. It's up to you. It is up to you. But it's also okay to accept the help. And I feel like you need the help. You know, this could actually be about you getting professional help. 
you know, getting someone to guide you out of this, out of this quicksand, you know. There might be twigs that you can grab onto and you just can't see them because you're so tired because you've been struggling for so long and it could be that someone can't come and pull you out. There is a way out, but you can't see it um, because you've been in this for so long and you're so exhausted and tired of it that it's just, yeah, you just need someone to point out, oh, look over here, there's, some, there's a tree branch you can grab onto. And you can climb up out of it, you know. It's okay. It's right there. And you just couldn't see it for so long. You know how sometimes you've been in something for so long, it becomes blurry and you just can't see things clearly. It's kind of like that Capricorn. Okay, so next card for Capricorn, please. The path. Lovers. The path here. Yeah. Okay, so what have we got here? It's sort of like I feel, um, Capricorn, that you feel like the where you want to get to is out of reach. There's there's no way to get there. Um, I feel like, yeah, there's just this sense of it being completely unreachable. And... That fits in with what I was saying before about being stuck in this for so long that um, you can't see the way there. But there are visible paths to get there. But um, again, they just need to be pointed out to you. So give, tell me more about the path for Capricorn, please. Tell me more about this path for Capricorn. Capricorn. Path for Capricorn. Tell me more about this. Blue. Look, it's just, you're just feeling so blue. Nine of Swords. Yeah, 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 yeah. See this along this path here? This guy has been walking along this path for what feels like a really long time. And then the crow comes along and he sees the crow, right? And he's like, oh, there's a crow because he's been on his own for so long traveling this dreary path that he's like, oh, far out is the crow. I never knew crows were around because he's too busy looking down, right? As he's walking, he's like, oh, this path, oh my gosh, how long do I have to walk for? And then suddenly he changes his perspective and he changes his position and he looks up and he sees the crow. And because he looks up and sees the crow, he also sees there's a motorbike that he can travel on to get his to his destination a lot easier and a lot quicker, right? So it really is about you changing the position, in a sense, okay? Um, and, and, and that sort of like is what is going to give you the enthusiasm to continue on. Okay, Capricorn, because at the moment I feel like there's the sense of wanting to give up. I'm going, what is the point? There is a whole massive point. Okay, you just can't see it yet. Okay, so it really is um, not a matter of giving up. It's a matter of looking up, of sitting up, of rising up. Okay, so one more path, one more path. One more card for the path, please, for Capricorn. <laughs> yep, no, I need to take these. We've got the Nine of Cups here. <laughs> um, nine of Cups and the Five of Cups. Yep. It's so funny because sometimes I put them back and I know it's meant to go back. But other times I go to put them back and it's like, no, <laughs> take them. Um, yeah, look, this is... The Nine of cup, Cups is everything you've wished for, yeah? But at the moment, this is the energy that you're sitting in. So to get to the Nine of Cups, it's it's very difficult. Um, there's just such a battle going on for you. This battle is, is it's so heavy and it's so draining. Um, I feel like Capricorn, 
you've been doing as much as you can to do the healing that you um, know you need to do, but it's sort of like you just feel like you're you're fighting a losing battle in a sense. Um, and part of that is because of this sort of mindset of oh what's the point like that's never gonna you know that's never gonna happen for me I'm dreaming like yes sure I want that but it's not gonna happen because look how long I've been trying to do this for I've been working and working and working on this trying to do the healing that I need to do and it's still there it's still there absolutely tearing me apart because you can't do it on your own this is the thing I think you know this has been part of the problem you can't do it on your own okay um Because that, this is right here for you, because as you can see here, this is how they landed, right? This is here for you, because look at this glowing cup here, and she's focusing on these, right? She's focusing on the ones that aren't glowing, and this here seems buried and too difficult to get to, okay? Um, she's waiting for it to grow and glow up, but it's not. There's this one cup here, and this cup here is representative of the nine of cups here but she's too busy focused over here looking at all the things that have gone wrong and um, not seeing all the things that could go right yeah and so this is where this shift needs to happen for you Capricorn okay um, so let's have a look here rising up this is what I was talking about before rising up out of the storm okay using the storm to help rise you up Okay, because this one here, she's got lightning coming out of her hand. Like, not taking no more of that. Pew, lightning out of the hand. I'm, you know, not going to let the storm hold me down anymore. I'm going to rise up and be the storm. You know, um, this is not to cause any havoc in anyone else's life or anything like that by any means. But, you know, this is about you changing your, your focus, changing your attitude really going you know what no more no more so yeah it's a choice and it's a decision that I feel you need to make okay it may be that you actually get someone like a um a start listening to some motivational speakers start you know changing what it is that you're focusing on some of you might have say for example been cheated on in a relationship so you're looking at a lot of things about cheaters because it makes you feel better right but what maybe what you need to listen to is something more inspiring and motivational to get you out of that energy because it's only holding you back and you learnt some stuff before but now it's like it's not serving you okay it's just actually holding you down okay Capricorn next card for Capricorn here please in relation to this reading. No, too many. Capricorn. Next card. <laughs> Everything's trying to slide out. Okay, Capricorn. One more card for Capricorn. Sorry, one. Oh, rising up. Look at that. Rising up. Yeah, this is the point. Yes. Um... I don't know what else I can say about that and I don't really feel like I want to take it but I do want to say that now is the time to do so Capricorn okay now is the time to rise up and um, let yourself be seen compassion beautiful um, compassion for yourself and this could be compassion for someone else if they're going through this okay because this is such a beautiful card here look at this it's gorgeous and the energy is so soft and loving as well okay and this is how um, I feel like you need to be towards yourself um, part of this is you not forgiving yourself for maybe 
not seeing things or tolerating something that's happened, you know, and um, really being like, oh, you're a stupid idiot. What did you allow that for? What did you trust them for? Or, you know, actually degrading yourself in your mind. And that's not cool. That is not cool. You know, don't do that to yourself. Okay. Um, yeah. Knight of Cups. Look at this. Treat yourself. Allow yourself to be treated. Allow yourself to receive some tender love and care. Okay. Allow yourself to be, I want to say romanced, but I mean that in the way of letting people take care of you for a change, you know. Um, letting your guard down enough to let people come in and love you. Um, and because it is that it could be the case that you don't feel worthy of that or you don't, you know, you don't trust people. So you're like, I'm not going to let them do that. No, nah, did that before and look what happened. It's it's actually really ruining you. You know, this is also about you doing that for you, allowing yourself to love yourself. You know, that's a really big thing. And we really don't do that enough for ourselves. Okay, so one more card for compassion. That's it. <laughs> All the other cards were like three or four or five and then one flies out. <laughs> Death and rebirth. Death and rebirth. See, this here is the star, right? This is the star. This is changing inside. Um, it could be the case that you've done everything to change externally. The outside, maybe you've moved, maybe you've got new clothes, maybe you've got a new hairdo, maybe you've got a new suit or some new nails or whatever. You've done everything you can to change externally, but it's the internal work that needs to be done here. And that is what is going to make you shine and glow and stand out. You know, you're going to actually really level up here, eh? And glow up, right? This is this glow up. That's exciting. Oh, I can't wait to see what the last card is now. Okay, tell me more. Oh, that was going to come, but it didn't. Capricorn. One more card for Capricorn, please. One more for Capricorn. I'm getting excited about this glow up now. What's the last card here? Resistance, ah, resistance to the glow up. Maybe you don't, oh, I see, because you don't want to open your heart again. You don't want to do that. You want the glow up, but then that's going to attract attention and you don't want to open your heart. You don't want to open the door to the emotions that you're going to feel by opening your heart. You want it all to go away. Okay, so maybe the Knight of Cups has come along into your life. Maybe the Compassion card is about this other swan here who's come to embrace you. And you're a bit like, oh my gosh, no way, man, no way. Um, but yeah, it's putting an end. You know, whatever this has been about, it's time for a rebirth. It's time for something new. Okay. Um, yeah, but you've got this resistance here. So tell me more about resistance for Capricorn, please. I don't know what that is. What is that? The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. One more card for resistance, please. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles here. I'm feeling like Capricorn, you've spent so long building on something that you're afraid it's going to be taken away from you. Like last time. So you don't want to open up to anybody. And this could even be, you know, the resistance of receiving help from somebody. It may be that before you received help from someone and they took advantage. Um, 
but the long hidden friend, someone who you know knew a long time ago could be the answer to that. Um, it could be that also, Capricorn. I just wonder now if you've kept it a secret that you've been taken advantage of and you don't want anyone to know because you're embarrassed. That could be a possibility too. Um, but it is necessary. And always remember here, Capricorn, we were going to finish off with this. Whenever the darkness seems too hard to bear, call on St. Bridget to hold you in stillness and care. So have a look at St. Bridget and see what she represents and stands for here. And yeah, just know that this time when you open up or you even, you know, seek out someone to help you professionally, that it's okay to do. You need this and it's going to be different than last time. Okay, so trust yourself and trust that the universe will guide you just like the star guides people in the, you know, lights up the sky to lead people in the darkness. This is going to happen for you now, which is why you're here. Okay, so yeah, good luck with that Capricorn. I'm thinking of you and take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.